Hello everyone, welcome back again to Mufasu Cat channel with British Cat basic tutorial. Today I will create a small floor plan, 5 by 6 meter. And first I will create a template with a millimeter. You can change default into millimeter and you can create new drawings. Now in here I will create a rectangle object. You can tap rectangle and I will click from this point. We can give a dimension for length into 5000 and then for width into 6000. Okay, this uh, for simple uh, rectangle. The next uh, I will offset. Okay, we can offset with uh, offset distance 150 can click uh, this uh, object and click insert. We can create line object okay, start from a middle point in here and you can move into here. I will create again line from this point into here and then you can use move tools to move uh, the last object. Okay, it is a line object to drag it. We can set into uh, this point 1850 and then I will use offset command with uh, offset uh, distance uh, 75. You can click at this object, click uh, inside here, and then move uh, to the top. You also can offset in here, right and left. Okay, I will uh, create a line object. Okay, start from this point and move it to here. The next, we can move the last object to drag here, like uh, I will set into 900. Okay. We can uh, use a trim command to extend this line objects. Okay, it will be extend. And now in here uh, we can extend again uh, at this point, and also in here. So uh, you can trim uh, these objects, or you can select uh, this object, middle objects, and you can press delete button. And I will trim again at uh, this uh, lines objects. Okay. We can create a rectangle object, start from this point into here. Create again in here, rectangle objects. And now in the bottom here. Okay. Finally, uh, I will uh, insert block into this uh, block plan. You can tap insert. Okay. And next, uh, we can browse. I will uh, use uh, these uh, models. Okay open okay and then i will insert at this point we can insert again okay we can insert uh, for bed okay i will click at this point and now we can uh, copy this object into here we can insert again new block okay i will use uh, this dining table you can insert in here for the table. The next uh, for uh, door front, okay, open, okay, and then I will click at this point. You can use a mirror command to mirror uh, these uh, objects to the top, and then I will select uh, this door and you can press the left button. We can move uh, this object start from this point and then click at this point. You can use a trim command to cut uh, this line objects, okay. We can insert again. Okay, the next for uh, door WC, BWC. Okay, and then I will uh, put in here. We can use a mirror again. Okay, into this point. We can delete uh, these objects. The next, we can use move tools to move uh, these objects. Okay, from this point, I will move into here. Okay, you can move again uh, these objects from this point. We can move into this point. Okay, this enough. We can uh, insert again. Okay, for the next uh, block, it's uh, double windows. Okay, open. Okay, again, and then for double window, we'll set in here. You can use move tools. You can move up from uh, center point at this point. And then so I will use uh, this option, snap uh, to middle of uh, two points. You can click upon this point, and then click at this point. So it will be placed in the center of uh, these uh, two points. We can insert again for another block. Okay, I will 
insert the furniture one open okay and I will set in here we insert again for another furniture then okay. insert at this point the next uh, for uh, kitchen so for kitchen we can set in here okay this is for kitchen insert again for uh, the next uh, block okay we can set for a single window okay we can set for single window in here you can use a rotate command we can rotate uh, these objects and then i will use a copy you can copy from uh, middle point and then you can uh, right click and choose a snap to middle of the point you can press uh, c button hold and then right click click in here and then click at this point so we already cut again okay you can use a snap or two middle of the two point from this point into here okay the next uh, in here we can also can set for uh, windows okay with a middle point snap middle point from this point into here okay i will move from this point into here. now uh, we can uh, move uh, these objects into this point and then i will use a rotate command we can rotate these objects now we can move again from a middle point and then we can use uh, snap uh, middle to point from this point into here okay we already attached for our windows the next uh, block we can insert for sofa okay i will set sofa in here we can use a rotate command to rotate uh, this uh, block okay this is enough for the last block for pilot seat and waste okay you can uh, place at uh, this point okay, i will smooth tools you can move uh, these objects into here Okay, we already insert the uh, all blocks, and in here we can use the trim command. Okay, I will cut uh, this point. We can uh, use head command. Okay, you can tap height, enter. For a uh, pattern, we can use uh, this pattern, and then for color, I will set in yellow. Now uh, we can uh, pick point. Okay, you can select cut this point. Select again in here. Okay, you can select uh, one by one for uh, this area. Okay. Next in here. At this point, okay, in the bottom here. Okay, uh, this uh, will be the select. Okay, it's okay. Okay. now at this point and the last in here you can uh, enter and you can click ok so it will be apply for heads for scale uh, we can change in here for uh, this pattern we can change for uh, scale i will set in here into 15 so it will be scale into 15 for the next, uh, we can use a hedge again. Okay, you can tap hedge, and then I will use a gradient. You can use the color. Okay, you can change into this color, and I will pick point. You can pick from here. Okay, you can also click in here. This point. I'm sorry, uh, we can undo, and then you can select in here. Select again in here. Next in here. Okay, you can press uh, enter and then we can click ok to apply finally uh, we can uh, add a dimension into this uh, floor plan you can tap uh, dim uh, linear okay, to create a dimension linear and then i will click start from this point move into here and then move uh, to the bottom okay in here uh, we can uh, change settings for uh, dimension you can tap d and enter 
will be open a drawing explorer and we will be in a dimension style. In it, we can set for row size into 120. Okay, for uh, the break, I will set into 60. Arrow head uh, is okay. And then for uh, dim lane, I will set in here into red. And also the next uh, for uh, base facing 60. In here 60. In here again 60. For color ini, in here I will uh, set into uh, red. Okay, you can move uh, bottom for center mark. I will uh, none. The next for text, we can set text into green. And for text height, we can set into 120. For offset, we can set into 60. Okay, this okay, and you can close. Now it will be automatically changed for uh, this uh, dimension uh, settings. Okay, you can uh, move again. To here we can use a uh, dim linear you can tap dim linear enter can click up from this point and then you can move uh, into here into point click again from uh, this point into here okay now we can set from this point and then I will use uh, m2p middle uh, from the point from this point into here then next uh, we can cut from this point into here and now from this point in here we can set with uh, snap uh, to middle to point ok in here it's ok and the last stuff from this point into here ok now uh, we already created uh, this uh, simple small floor plan 5 uh, by 6 uh, meter. If you have any question about this uh, tutorial, you can comment below this video.